Hi friends, welcome to biology exams for you.com. In this tutorial, we will be discussing about why this name restriction enzyme, what are restriction enzymes, and what are the different types of restriction enzymes, and how restriction enzymes works in recombinant DNA technology. First of all, why the name restriction enzyme? As you all know, this is a bacterium, and most often the major threat for a bacterium is a bacteriophage, that is a virus that attacks bacterium. Once the virus attaches to the surface of the bacterium, it injects the viral genome and it replicates inside the bacterium, ultimately encapsulated within the capsid and causes slices of the bacterial cell. Once the viral genome is inside the bacterium, bacteria has a innate defense mechanism by which it will cleave this viral genome by an enzyme which is called as restriction enzyme. These restriction enzymes are natural defense mechanism present in bacteria that is actually restricting or preventing the replication of viral genome inside the bacterium. Therefore, these enzymes are called as restriction enzymes. Now, what are restriction enzymes? This enzyme was discovered by Nathan and Smith in 1970s. This is one of the most important discoveries that marked the beginning of recombinant DNA technology. It is also called as molecular scissors, molecular knives, or molecular scalpels due to its ability to cut DNA molecule. These enzymes are, the, are capable of cutting DNA molecule at unique sequences called recognition sequence or restriction size. Example, these are, this belongs to the class nucleases. There are two types of restriction enzyme. First one is restriction endonuclease, which is capable of cutting in, making internal cuts in a DNA molecule, whereas exonuclease are capable of removing nucleotides from the ends. And there are different types of restriction enzymes, type 1, type 2, and type 3, where type 2 is used in recombinant DNA technology as it makes cuts within recognition site. Whereas type 1 and type 3, are there, there is a restriction site or recognition site, but often the cuts are made thousand base pairs, often thousands of base pairs away. So that type 2 is mainly used in recombinant DNA technology. Examples are eco arvin hin third, etc. And magnesium ions are essential for the activity of type 2 restriction enzymes. Let's take an example. This is a restriction enzyme. This is a sequence. The restriction site for this particular restriction enzyme, eco arvin is GAATTC. And this is a restriction site. And it will make cuts after G here also at the 5 dash end this after G and regarding the recognition side these are often 5 to 8 base pairs and are palindromic sequences you can read from here GATTC from here also the same thing with rota in rotational symmetry and this is about the recognition side and this restriction enzymes makes cuts in two ways first is staggered cuts or cohesive ends or sticky ends that uh, it cleaves the DNA molecule producing single stranded overhangs. Let us take the example of eco R1. This is the restriction site, GATTC, and after the cleavage, this is this is a result. The, the, you can see AATT, this is a single stranded overhang. In recombinant DNA technology, this is preferred as if we create a vector molecule with uh, a, 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 with bases complementary to this AATT, th this will form hydrogen bond easily. The second type of cut is called as blunt ends or even cuts where this enzyme cut at the same site generating blunt ends. Example is ALU1. This is a sequence recognition site, HCT, and you can see that this is a cut, a cut at both ends evenly. Often these even cuts or blunt ends are made into sticky ends by adding linkers or adapters or short stretches of DNA. Hope things are clear. You are with biologyexamsforyou.com. If you find this video useful, please share and like. Thank you so much for watching.